9-11 affected me um, because I was a senior in college when it occurred. I remember waking up and the radio wasn't playing music. It was the DJ saying, I can't believe what just happened. A plane just hit one of the World Trade Towers. And so I thought it was a prank maybe or something like that. So I got out of bed and uh, went downstairs to check and turned on the TV and there it was. And right then the second plane hit the tower and they were like, oh my goodness, it happened again. Something's going on. Something's happening. So at that point, I woke up my college roommate and uh, brought him downstairs too. And we watched TV the rest of the day. We didn't go anywhere. We skipped class that day. Uh, but we just sat and watched everything that was happening, all four planes. Um and I remember, like, gas prices going up significantly. Like, the gas station nearest us, I think gas was a $1.60, $1.70 a gallon that morning or the day before. The next day, it jumped to, like, $6 a gallon. People were making rushes to the grocery store. People were worried about things. And then I realized, because I was away at college, I remembered that my dad was actually... Um, he had been off. He had been away. And so I called my house and he had gotten in late that night on a flight uh, back home. So he almost was in all of that. Uh, but how it affected me, uh, I think that it really kind of made me think a little more about the world that we're in and how connected we are in that world. Uh, but how did it affect America? Um, that's a much deeper question. It affected America because really this is the first time there was a an attack directly on the United States, on American soil, really since 1941, since Pearl Harbor. And it was a significant loss of life. There were a lot of people impacted uh, from this by one way or another. Um, and it kind of made America more aware of where we are in the world, what our position is in the world, and how deeply connected our economy, our um, politics, our geopolitical impact is on the rest of the world. Um, and it made it made travel more difficult. I mean, you have to down when you go to the airport. Used to when you went to the airport. You could park and go check in, and in 15 minutes, you're on the plane. Now you have to get there hours ahead of time because of security. Uh, so it affected America by making things, I wouldn't say more secure, but more security was enacted. And so because of that, people are a little more cautious. They were a little more... Um, nervous at times. Uh, I do remember that after that, you know, sports took a halt. Everything was news 24-7 for like the next week after 9-11 occurred. And then uh, I went to Mississippi State, and Mississippi State played South Carolina in the first football game after 9-11. We had this big presentation, a massive flag, and everybody was waving flags. Everybody gave everybody a little flag to wave. And I remember vividly some guys over the next section from us who were um, Asian-looking, South Asian, probably from Pakistan or India. But people always grouped, you're South Asian, so you're different than us. But they were like jumping up and down, waving flags, like we love America, probably because there was a lot of Muslim Asian hate at the time, especially South Asian or Southwest Asian hate at the time because people were mean to them, trying to blame these folks that were here in the United States for what had happened, and it's not their fault. But I remember them like jumping up and down, waving flags, singing the national anthem, trying to show their um, patriotism too because they love America. Uh, 